Thank you for joining us here tonight on CWJB News. We're going to talk about tonight global warming and video games and why they're affecting our world today. We got special Kobe Cody Robertson here tonight to tell us why the world is going through all this this problems and everything. Cody Robertson, please come. Well, thank you, Mr. Blaylock. I, I'm, you know, I'm sad, I'm really glad to be on this uh, show tonight. Yes. Okay. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about, you know, I'm gonna talk about global warming toward the end. And uh, teenagers addicted to computer games. Ten important things parents should know. From the time computer games were made their way into the family homes, parents have often wondered if violent video games may neg may negatively affect their child and teenagers. Today, parents still worry about the effects of violent computer games. And of course, it also will remain a popular topic for the media. However, with a growing number of of children and teens spending excessive time playing computer games, perhaps parents should be more worried about teenagers addicted to computer games and the effects of the violent video games. Number one, for now, computer game addiction is not an official psychology disorder. The possibility of including computer games addiction in the future editions of the Diagnosis and Statistical Statistical manual. I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, number two. Common sense suggests that more than teen, more teens play computer games, then more likely his play has crossed over to the unhealthy levels of play category. Three. Parents who are worried about the teenager is spending too much time playing computer games and negatively affecting activities should not assume that their child will eventually get bored of video games and that gaming is simply a phase. Four, most kids and teenagers can do and play computer games without developing an addiction. However, for some teens, there is no question that the computer use is unhealthy and excessive to, for anybody's standards. For these teens, computer games take priority in all of the other activities and development for the other areas. For example, school, relationships, club, and even sports. They sacrifice so many more that it can be spent in front of a computer screen. It really does not matter what is called an addiction or not. If he continues to play despite experiencing significant neg negative consequence in other areas of his life, ignoring school or friends, his computer game computer gaming is a problem and needs to be addressed. Five, for parents, one of the most concerning things about teenagers Addicted to computer games is the effect it has on a child's academic performance. If a student regularly achieved A's and B's prior to becoming hooked on a computer, then he would start bringing home C's and D's. Parents should establish very clear rules about gaming, including the possibility of a ban, until marks have improved. Furthermore, it is critical that any rules around getting are not set. But constantly enforced. Six, in general, treating teenagers addicted to the computer games require that all computers and or game controls are removed from his or her room. Of, of course, it is not certainly the, the only invention, but it is most impossible for a parent to sexually place limits on gaming and if the child can still access the game in the privacy of, of a bedroom. Seven, the most popular treatment approach in computer gaming is is the uh, CBT. CBT for gaming addiction involves challenging and replacing unhealthy thoughts and computer games. Example, my gaming doesn't hurt anyone. An introduction of gradual behavioral. <laughs> Eight, parents seeking assistance from a therapist or psych psychologist should consider meeting with him <laughs> prior to the first... I'm going to cut all this out. Look, I, I'm going to go play it. I'm going to go over here and play this video. <laughs> Amy, you, you keep going. Despite the challenge of inventable frustrations of dealing with a teen a game addiction, parents should re must remember never to give up on teenagers' addiction to computer games. 
This is a special edition of CWJB News. As you can see, that one of our uh, one of the, the hosts he let to play video games. That's a negative influence, kids. Do not. Oh, I just hit that dude with a gun, dude. Most ga most video games consist of violence. Uh, let's say for Grand Theft Auto, um, you go around killing cops and stuff like that. That's unhealthy for the, the freaking cop. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! The teenagers will affect will be able to affect the ability of their study and if they're they'll not be able to concentrate in the school. It's been scientifically proven that video games can has a has a negative effect on how kids behave and how their academics are in school. If you look at it, video games when they were invented, it became a main major problem in the United States today and as as far as overseas. Parents I suggested you Take the games away from your student or your child. Remove the video games. Set a time limit for the child. That way the child will not fail and will be a successful person in life. I want to thank you for this joining us today on CWJB. And remember, always, always keep the video games under control. Keep the situation under control and never give in to your child's temptation of over video games.